I'm just getting tidied up in here a bit at the moment. I'm going to be after the storm's passed. Here comes the storm. The tow bar is now gone. That is now on the car. And there it is, ready to go. Well, the old backup oars for the dinghy are ready. I'm going to be putting a lot of the bobbers on the ropes, getting the ropes on the pots, that kind of thing, getting all that ready. And also going to be heading down the boat to do a load of jobs on that. But what I'll do is I want to clear it up just a little bit so I can get to the engines, which are here, and get what servicing I need to do to them. Um, some of them need bits and bobs doing. Not a lot, just the standard stuff, you know, new plugs, new impellers, that kind of thing. So I'll get on with those, get those ready to go. And then, like I say, once the weather's passed, then I'll get down to the boat, get that sword, get this done, and clear the shed out so I can uh, have it nice and clear for the summer. Now, the video that's coming up today was one from last season, and it's only a short one, but it was a pretty impressive one, actually. It was the day we went out, and there was thousands of seabirds. And what it was, was there was a big shoal of white bait out there, and right behind it was a huge shoal of mackerel. The mackerel shoal oh, it must have extended a mile or so, but it didn't matter where you went in that area and dropped down, you'd land into mackerel. Now, we caught a few other fish which were down there as well. There was a few pollock, if you could get through the mackerel, and we had the odd bass, but they're only little tiny bass. I think they're actually mixed in with the mackerels. I've had this before where you, you mackerel fish and you're getting mackerel, big mackerel, but you're also getting bass, little bass, sort of the same size as the mackerel. So I'm sure a lot of these fish do shoal together. In fact, our camera underwater footage that we filmed has shown this where you get a mixture of species in the same shoal. Maybe because a lot of the shoals are very small these days, they, they're grouping together as opposed to being in their own separated shoals. Anyway, let's head out there and take a look at all these birds and the fish we caught. Well, another morning is broken. We're about to head out to try and catch some pollock. So I'll catch up on you when we arrive on the mark. Check out all the birds, so many birds, there must be, a, I don't know, how many, a thousand, yeah, thousands, mostly shearwaters I believe, and um, gulls, you get a few uh, gannets mixed in, but uh, yeah, there's one up in the air over there at the moment, it's about to fly over us. That's impressive when you see that, we're not catching anything though, that's the only disappointing part. Probably all white bait, no fish there. We'll find out, we're going to start fishing in a minute. Yeah. 
Bloody hell! Oh, they just blown it up into the pocket. It's insane! Caught that one, but it was dangling over the edge. I haven't even got a good shot either. <laughs> Ooh. I said there was a lot of mackerel over here. <laughs> Mentally, they're good size as well. We just had a couple of bass, but they are tiny little things. So. Yeah. That's the size of them. Thank you. 